Hi guys, how you doing? Hi there. Well, today we're talking a little bit about uh, carers, uh, those that support a uh, loved one, uh, spouse, uh, partner with uh, FND, FMD um, anything. symptoms. Yeah, anything really. But uh, those are the uh, those are the ones that we're talking about and uh, that we've been dealing with. And so, yeah. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot that goes into that. Uh, I would say uh, a word that comes to mind is trying to find a balance. And I know a lot of you probably heard this throughout life and in other places. And, you know, and trying to figure out exactly what that means is kind of up to each individual uh, and family. But at the same time, it is an, it is an important uh, key to remember is, uh, you know, where do I find balance in uh, supporting, caregiving, advocating, uh, researching, uh, assisting my 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 spouse, my partner, uh, with uh, their journey uh, with Might FMD. Might be parent. You know, be. sometimes you're the parent, and I, you know, I know that's another dynamic, or absolutely, or it's <clears throat> another family member that you're helping. Um, for we're probably going to speak more to couples that because that's more Families, what, what yeah. we have experienced. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, there's a lot of people that. Silently and courageously mm. are, um, you're gonna make me cry, are doing a lot of great work um, taking care of us. So. And, and, uh, and that's awesome. And uh, I would say stay encouraged, uh, stay strong. Uh, thank you guys. And, and thank you. And, uh, and, and, uh, but take time for yourself too. Uh, take, take breaks, take time uh, to do things that are recharging for yourselves. Uh, that could, that could mean anything, really. It, you know, you might like to paint or write or draw or go for walks or go to the gym or, <clears throat> or hang out with your, your, your best friend. Uh, but whatever these things are uh, that help refresh you, to recharge you, uh, do those things. You know, take some time and uh, uh, get engaged in, in some of those hobbies and some of those things that in your life uh, that help recharge you. So that way you can stay... Uh, stay centered, stay uh, empathetic. Uh, empathetic, stay balanced, uh, avoid the, the phases of burnout that we all experience. Or the desensitization. Yeah. And yeah, <laughs> you know, and so those are some things, some tips to, to, to help you. Talking to somebody could help, uh, you oh. know, you know, uh, and that can look different for each person. I mean, that could mean all the way from talking to a, a professional, a counselor, um, as, as well as just talking to your, your uh, brother or sister or a good friend. Uh, but just sharing a little bit of your life and your heart uh, can go a long ways in, in helping you to feel like you're just not so on your own. There's on more to who you are than just that. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, we don't want to become, you know, just defined by the circumstances that we find ourselves in. We want to, we want to be able to... So that, sorry, but that's almost like... If your loved one needs enough support that it takes a lot of your free time, then I would highly hope that you could find someone else that you love to step up and step in and love and serve your loved one by, like, maybe maybe that means Thursday nights somebody else comes in and hangs out with your loved one and you go bowling or Absolutely. whatever you do. Because if you need substitutes, then do that because you've gone through that. In the Absolutely. times past where you didn't, in a caregiving role with your mom, that you didn't get those yeah. breaks as much because it was an all-the-time thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. when I was much younger, I was a caregiver uh, uh, for several years, off and on, uh, mostly on uh, with my mom going through cancer. And uh, I was quite a bit younger, and uh, I've learned quite a few things since then in life, as we all have. And, uh, you know, sometimes reaching out and asking for help. My mom was in a different state and she needed a lot of care at, at one point. And, uh, you know, reaching out and asking for help is a totally appropriate thing to do. And, uh, and I know sometimes that doesn't always work out either. It didn't for me uh, during that time. But, you know, sometimes reaching out and asking for help, you just never know. And uh, there could be other resources out there in the community as well that, that uh, we're not aware <clears throat> of that... Uh, you can look into that might give you a, a break here and there to help take care of yourselves because you've got to endure the long haul too absolutely and and just as much as you guys preach to us about taking care of ourselves and you know not overdoing it 
you guys too need to be balanced and, and do things to take care of yourself and find hobbies that replenish your who you are, not take from you, you know? Absolutely. So. Absolutely. So, yeah. That's just a couple things. Just a couple things. Stay encouraged, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.